In case you didn't know, this is our 10th episode. Woo! Which means it's our season finale. Woo! Which means we had to have a party. <laughs> a big party. A big party. A we fabulous to, party. A fabulous party. We had to transform a back patio into party perfection. Mary's backyard is darling, but need a little TLC. A lot of TLC. Yes. I had a couple, like three different couches that I was gonna probably just get rid of them, but I just haven't put, invested a lot of time in them, but we decided the best way to unify the space, kind of make it look like a set, is to paint them all the same color. And by paint, we mean spray paint. furniture was painted and everything was cleaned up, it was clear that we needed a new furniture arrangement for the party. You've got to be flexible when throwing a party, so when something's not working, you just got to figure out how to go with the flow. And our big way of doing that is tablecloths. Mm -hmm. We like to cover it up. For example, Mary has a washer and dryer outside that was kind of, you know, in the party area. Eyesore for a party. Yeah, it's kind of an eyesore. Mm -hmm. So what we did was just covered it with a tablecloth yes. and used it as a food station. Genius. Mary shares kind of the backyard space with her neighbors, and so they've decided to just store a whole bunch of stuff out there with these awful blue tarps. Now, that's not gonna work at our fabulous party, okay? No, and we have a rule that if you haven't used it in six months, you should just get rid of it. So I don't know why they just don't buy a storage unit or something else, but really, tarps? So again, being flexible, we had to make it work. And we did that by buying some inexpensive fabric with a pretty color, and we just wrapped up the tarps. We wrapped it up. We even used a little staple gun. We knew we wanted to provide food, but we're on a budget and we knew it also needed to be easy. So we thought, let's make hot dogs. And we grow a little pineapple too, make it a little luau kind of theme. Every party needs kind of a theme cocktail. I mean, people bring what they will, but we wanted to provide something that everyone could have. So we had Mexican Coke, it gets in the bottle, it's really cute, it's really delicious, and you need to have something non-alcoholic. Beer, because who doesn't love beer? And Sea Gypsy Cocktail, it's our signature drink. Really fun time at our party. I had a great time. It was so cute. I'm mean, at disco ball, the bubbles, like so fun. The jars with the cute straws. Our door knock design cake. Oh, amazing. I feel like it was a really good way to end the season. It was. I mean, I think that's gonna be our tradition now. A party at the end every time. We like that. Mm -hmm. We had some really great friends and family show up. My stepdad even showed up from the East Coast. Here's to all the fabulous, fabulosos, wherever they Cheers. are. Cheers. Honey, don't be so. Honey, don't be so, darling, don't take so long with your heart on So you're here celebrating Door Knock Design season finale. I am indeed. Are you having a good time? I'm having a fantastic time. Oh, so did you have a good time being on Door Knock Design? I did. I learned a lot of things about aesthetic of interior design and what I thought I wanted versus what I needed. But compromise was key, as we all learned. And while my walls aren't pink, I am drinking out of pink glasses now, and I'm okay with it. Things are good. Are you guys still enjoying the nursery? Love it. Feels like home. Feels like new improved home. Does Sawyer like it? Loves it. Sawyer's so very happy. Yeah. She smiles. is? Yeah. yeah. Smiles constantly there. <laughs> it's been great um, from a sense of my kitchen's better now and also the fact that now I'm famous and on TV and I get to show lots of people my YouTube video. And they seem to really like you guys even though they haven't met you. Are you still liking your bedroom? Love it. I get so many compliments all the time, mostly from people that I show it to, not actually guys. <laughs> Which would be amazing. I'm like, all 13 guys that have come over really love the color of the walls. <laughs> yes, I've actually got three novels I wrote. I mean, the productivity level is through the roof. No, not really. But um, I definitely am enjoying spending my time there much more than I was when there was that white space of nothingness. It was just cracked concrete and this abysmal 
creative space. It, you know, I always talked about getting it done, and these girls came in and they did it for me. I do, I love it. I got a housekeeper too, and she loves it. Would you guys ever want to be on Door Knock Design ever again? A thousand percent, yeah. Desperately. Absolutely, yeah. Desperately. <laughs> we want yeah. you to do every room in our house. Yeah, we actually do. You guys did your incredible job with that nursery. I would love for you guys to come in, come in again. I'm going to lobby for you guys to come in again. Yes, I would love it. I've still got a bedroom with like two movie posters on the wall. They're framed, but it's still not great shape. And then most of the other furniture in my bedroom is just piles and piles of dirty stones. So uh, bring hampers, bring nightstands, bring lamps, and come back to my place. Oh yeah, Are you, they, my housemates literally ask me every day. They're like, I think that Mary and Leah should come back. What do you think they'd do with this dining room? And I'm like, they'd take everything. They, they, I, I don't even know where they'd start. We have a season two coming up, which means 10 more episodes. So if you have any ideas of what you'd like to see, please leave us a comment and let us know below. And if you guys live in the Los Angeles area and would like to be featured on Door Knock Design, send us an email to bfab at fabulousonabudget.com. Remember to like this video, subscribe to Digs, and we'll see you next season. Woo!